Hey everyone, in this video I want to show off an add-on that's really cool for collectors. This add-on is called Collection Shop and what it does is it narrows down auction house items to stuff that you haven't collected. So let's take a look at the add-on. It doesn't actually modify anything within the game. It adds an extra window that you get to look at. We'll take a look at that in a minute. First, we're going to get into the options. If you go into chat and you type slash CS, that's going to bring up the options window for collection shop. You've got a few different things here. It's not really a whole lot. On the options tab here, you can set some prices uh, for the different categories of items. And you could say, hey... At 10,000 gold, I don't want to see recipes that cost more than that. So if you know you're never going to spend more than 1,000 gold on a pet, you can put in 1,000 gold here, and it won't show you anything that costs over 1,000 gold that is a pet. Uh, I usually keep this open because depending on what it is, I'm willing to pay more or less money. The next tab you've keeps track of the buyouts that you've done while you're using collect Collection Shop. The next tab shows you the last time that you have scanned your particular realm that you're on. I scanned this one about 13 minutes ago. And then we finally we have a help tab with some of the commands in here. Now to use the add-on you're going to go to an auction house, click on an auctioneer, and down here there's going to be a tab that says collection shop. Once you get in here click any of the categories, any of the icons here, and then you're going to hit the scan button. The scan is going to then take an inventory of everything that's in the auction house. This process can take a little while, so I recommend that you use that time to, you know, listen to an audiobook, get up and use the restroom, uh, you know, go get yourself a snack and come back. It does take a little while, but once that's done, you're going to be able to come back and you can choose from any of these options here. We have mounts, pets, toys, appearances, and recipes. Now, once your scan's done and you click on one of these, you're going to click shop. That's what we're ready to do, right? We're ready to shop. When you click shop, it's going to come up and it's going to show you everything that's on the auction house that you don't currently have in your collection. For example, I have not collected the Garn Night Howl mount, so this is showing me that I could buy this mount out. The item price listed here is going to be the lowest available. So it may be the case that Garn Night Howl is listed multiple times. If we go over here to browse and we type Garn Night Howl and we search, you can see there are a lot of different options here. Collection Shop is showing us the cheapest one. Once you looked at a particular item, if you decide that you want it, you can click on it and then you can click buy out to buy a single item. You can click buy all to buy all the items listed if you want for some reason. Um, or you can click cancel to get out of there. Now, each of the different options that you can look at has its own filters. So within the mount section, we can filter by the rarity of the mount, whether we've collected it not collected it and we've got some other requirements here if we go into pets we can do the same thing hit shops this is going to show all the pets available we could filter by rarity we can filter by type we can filter by level like the pets actual level if we only want pets that are leveled up to level 25 we can look at that group them by species all this kind of stuff if we go into our toys then our toys are going to show us the different types of toys as well as rarity. We're gonna skip appearances for a second. If we go into recipes, then this will show us the rarity of the recipe and also whether it's a cooking recipe or not if, if we wanna get rid of those recipes. And then finally in the appearance tab, uh, this can be pretty overwhelming because you're gonna get a lot of items that pop up. So this is the tab that I definitely recommend that you filter the crap out of. So usually what I do is I try to I usually get rid of uncommon appearances because I mainly want to focus on the stuff that you know looks pretty unique and interesting and a lot of times that rules out some of the uncommon gear. Not necessarily always, but I usually try to look at uncommon gear by itself and then look at everything else as a group. Uh, then I would recommend that you uncheck several of these boxes and just look at one category of gear at a time, one slot. So in this case, these are all the headpieces that are on the auction house that I don't have the appearance for. You can also, uh, you know, 
hone in on the different weapons that you want. Also, you can go in and you can uncheck some different item levels. So if you want to search for like a particular expansion or level range, you could do that as well. So here I've unchecked boxes so that now I'm only looking at gear that's from Warlords of Draenor, Legion, or uh, Battle for Azeroth. Because I know those have, you know, they've got the pixels. They look pretty good. Um, so this is where I really recommend that you get in and use some of these filters here for the different appearances. Now, the big thing with having the buyout window available is Collection Shop doesn't update until you've added the item to your appearance, so into your collection. So, for example, if I wanted to get this True Steel Helm of the Aurora, uh, that's gone away now. It's showing me that it's no longer there. Uh, so let's say I wanted to get this Demon Steel Helm of the Peerless. I could go ahead and buy it out. But you're going to see, like, it shows me that I bought it out. And in this case, there probably isn't another one. But if there was, it would stay on the list. And because of that, I want to be able to look at my buyouts tab and see, hey, I purchased this. Uh, because until I go and get it out of the mailbox, add it to my collection, it's going to continue to show up. For example, I used Collection Shop earlier to buy... Uh, one of these great sea rays because I don't fish this comes from fishing. I, I just I wanted to buy it um, So it's still showing up as something that I don't have in my collection But I've already purchased one So what I would want to do is make sure that I've got this up as I'm browsing when I'm done Close it out get everything out of my mailbox add it to my collection So the next time I open up collection shop It's going to show that updated collection and I don't end up buying something multiple times because I forgot because once you get in here and you really start digging through and searching for cool stuff and you know looking at the gear on your character to see what looks cool uh, you can kind of go down a rabbit hole and forget what you were buying so this is a handy window to have to help you keep track of that stuff so that's it that's the video collection shop great great add-on for collectaholics hopefully this video has helped you out and you get some good use out of this add-on if you like the video throw me a like check out some of the other videos on my channel and if you think it's worth it subscribe i hope you're having a great time in world of warcraft and thanks for watching as always i'll see you on the next video